I am Dr. Dower and I welcome you all to our video lectures on the one of the important and difficult topic of our medical field that is understanding ECG. ECG is actually the representation of the electrical activity of the heart on a paper. It is not that much simple as it is in the definition. It is a bit difficult. Yeah, I have tried my level best to make it simple and understandable for you people. We will have a series of lectures from the very basics to the complex one about the understanding ECG. Today in this lecture I am giving you some very basic concept of uh, uh, ECG. First of all we will start from the PQRST terminology that what it is actually. To understand ECG it is important to have some knowledge about uh, PQRST and what actually it represent the most important what actually it represent <coughs> we all we are having uh, here one straight line if we consider that it is here a straight line okay this is called isoelectric line iso means same totally straight line okay now any deflection from this any upward deflection from this isoelectric line is called positive deflection and any downward deflection from this isoelectric line is will be negative deflection now we are having some deflection in this uh, diagram uh, which i have shown here uh, here if we will try to look at this wave it is having positive deflection okay and <coughs> the first very deflection on a normal ECG a normal I must say it is if it is normal ECG the first very positive deflection is P wave and P wave represent the depolarization and contraction of artery the second one is QRS complex it is also deflected from the isoelectric line there is a deflection from the isoelectric line. It is actually composed or consists of three parts Q, R, S, three parts Q wave, R wave, and S wave. And it represents the depolarization and contraction of the ventricle. P wave represents depolarization and contraction of atria, and QRS complex represents the depolarization and contraction of the ventricle. Now, <coughs> if someone want to understand the uh, PQRS more, so here is a Q wave. Q wave actually represent the depolarization and <coughs> and uh, contraction of the septum. It is the septal depolarization which make this Q wave. And another one there is it is R wave which represent the major part of uh, the ventricle it is uh, represent the major ventricular depolarization r wave and another one is s wave which is again downward deflection in it represent the basal ventricular depolarization the third one wave which is a uh, t wave it is actually the repolarization of the ventricle remember it is the repolarization of the ventricle so the one and single wave in the PQRST is which represent the repolarization is T wave. Okay. Hope that uh, you understand this. You have understood this. And now coming towards. Uh, okay. Let me explain two question, which everyone is having in their mind. First one that if there is repolarization of the ventricle, then where is arterial repolarization wave? okay it's a very simple question and uh, also simple answer as well when whenever the ventricular repolarization depolarization start here at the same time arterial real polarization start so the wave of arterial repolarization merged with the qrs complex which is actually the depolarization of the ventricle second question why there is some negative deflection and there uh, and uh, positive deflection as well 
like p q r s i'm talking about this depolarization wave if it is depolarization wave then why there is q and s wave are negative deflection about this i am uh, going to make another video about all this mechanism uh, in which i will try to tell you that what it actually happens but from this lecture you should memorize try to memorize from this i will give you concept in the other video in this video you should try to memorize this thing okay <coughs> now coming towards the uh, various intervals and segments in ecg first of all there is pr interval the time from the onset of the p wave to the onset of the q or s complex is pr interval the time from the onset of the p wave to the onset of the q or s complex is called pr interval now pr interval is here is pr interval so the onset of the p wave and up to the onset of the q wave this is pr interval okay now what it actually represent p wave i told you already that it is arterial depolarization arterial depolarization okay then what is pr segment and what pr segment represent <coughs> pr segment is actually the it represent the conduction through av node and why there is no deflection because very simple answer again remember this pr segment is straight line because av node is low conducting and all other are fast conducting pathways okay that's why it is straight pr segment now coming toward the qrs interval qrs interval is the same it is uh, from the time of the onset of the q wave to the end of the s wave and it represent the same uh, arterial uh, repolarization and ventricular depolarization i'm telling you arterial repolarization from the start in the start only due to you should understand that actually the arterial repolarization wave is merged with the qrs complex now then another one is qt interval the time from the beginning of the q wave to the end of the t wave and rr interval is very simple the time from the apex of one r wave to the apex of other wave is r r interval it's also important remember this p p interval the time from the beginning of p wave to the beginning of other p wave now coming towards the segments p r segment is the time from the end of the p wave to the end of the q wave okay now what p r segment represent i think uh, you should know just now i have told you about the each represent actually the uh, conduction through av node pr segment conduction through av node okay and the other one is which is also important and uh, st segment it is the time from the end of the s wave to the start of the t wave when anyone ask you that what is pr segment so first of all if there is a word segment you should remove the word wave there will be no wave okay at the same time as i have already uh, told you in this diagram the same table pr interval is actually arterial depolarization and conduction through av node i told you earlier and uh, qrs deviation uh, it was i also told you about uh, that uh, in the previous slide ventricular depolarization and arterial depolarization repolarization and qt interval represent the ventricular depolarization plus ventricular ventricular repolarization and st interval is ventricular repolarization so it is important and you should know this if uh, you will understand this and you will try to memorize and uh, all these very basics there i think it will be bit uh, easy for you people so try to hear and uh, watch this video again and again <coughs> thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video thank you